I have fulfilled my promises to Nigerians, Buhari says as he reveals his next plan after 2023 poll. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. President Muhammad Buhari, four months to the expiration of his tenure, revealed he has served Nigerians well. Buhari, in a statement by presidential spokesperson Femi Adeshino, noted that he fulfilled his promise to Nigerians in the area of insecurity, especially in tackling Boko Haram in the north. The Nigerian leader further revealed he would serve God and Nigerians until his last day in office. President Muhammad Buhari says he has fulfilled his promises to Nigerians on tackling and fighting on tackling Boko Haram in President Muhammad Buhari says he has fulfilled his promises to Nigerians on tackling Boko Haram insurgency, reviving the economy and fighting in corruption. According to his special advisor and media in publicity, Femi Adeshino, the president said this during a banquet organized in his honor in the Maturu, Yobi state capital. Barry speaks on how well he has served Nigerians and how he will not be proved after he leaves office. The president paid a working visit to Yobi on Monday, January 9th, Daily Trust reported. In a statement, Adeshino said Buhari also stated that nobody could blackmail him on his inexplicable wealth and illicit enrichment while in office, Vanguard added. Buhari speaks on what he plans to do when he leaves office. President Muhammad Buhari has restated his vow to serve God and Nigeria until his last day in office and beyond. The statement reads, and I quote, Speaking at the state banquet Monday night, organized in its honor in the Mataru, the Yobe State Capital, the President restated his vow to save God and Nigeria until his last day in office and beyond. He advised Nigerians to remain patriotic, saying, as I said more than 30 years ago, we have no other country than Nigeria. We must all stay here and salvage it together. Noting that the most critical security challenge inherited by the administration nearly eight years ago was the potent and pervasive threat of terrorism, the president has read delight that normalcy has returned to affect a state in northeast Nigeria. He recounted that the threat was particularly pervasive across the northeast geopolitical zone, with Yobe State as one of the most hit by the terrorists. He therefore declared that he has fulfilled the commitment to commitment made to Nigerians in his May 29, 2015 inaugural address to frontally and courageously tackle Boko Haram terrorists and stabilize the country. New twist, as Buhari government speaks on cancellation, postponement of election, reveals first position. In other news, the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, has said the general election will not be postponed or cancelled because of insecurity. He said nothing has happened to alter the election timetable. The minister noted further that the security agencies have assured the nation of a peaceful atmosphere for the poll. Tenembo reveals what article will do if he becomes president. One Tadamawa against voting for the People Democratic Party candidate. In another report, Asiwaji Bola and Met Tenembo, the All Progressive Congress presidential candidate, warned the residents of Adamawa State against voting for the People Democratic Party PDP presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar. Tenembo said this on Monday, January 9th, at the All Progressive Congress Presidential Rally at the Maidoki Ground in Yola, the Adamawa State Capital. According to a statement sent to Legit NG by his media aide, Tundi Roman, he said, and I quote, I hear that a former vice president who comes from Adamawa wants to return to Asa Villa again. You have to decide whether you owe him your vote simply because he's from here or do you owe yourself a better nation and future. If you believe a better tomorrow is possible, then you cannot support the vice president to privatize everything. If you give him the nation, he will sell all he can and leave you with nothing. Now let's start from top to bottom. <laughs> okay, let's start from top to bottom. Oh. So Buhari is saying that he has done well. Something is Something struck me when he was saying he has done well. First of all, I was saying... If you don't do well, now you will talk. You understand? The first thing 
that came to my mind was, were you really going to be the one praising yourself or we are going to be the one praising you that, ah, Baba, you don't try. You know, I was really having a thought about it and like, you know, you know, for you to come out and say you don't try. Then while I was still thinking about it, I said, maybe perhaps he has really done well. But like I always tell us recently, I started saying things in a different angle. I started saying things. It is possible for the president to be working tirelessly. But since he is not always going to be everywhere to monitor it, he has people around who is not helping him, who do not have the same goals as he does. Those people just want to collect their money and get out. That's what they're there for. People who he puts around him. It is possible that it's not reflecting here because of those people. I gave you people a wonderful example of how, for instance, the government releases funds for road. Eh? Yours, the president, let me give you this beautiful scenario. And this is actually a real life um, event. This is not a story. It's not a super story. Give me a super story, self go, then get real life stories in it. Now, this is it. Let's say a certain contractor you know, is contracted to handle a particular road project for, let's say, local government. And then, you know, they can they meet together after all the back and forth. You know, you give them your, your what's it called, your pricing and everything, how you're going to walk the road. You discuss with them and all is agreed. And it's okay. Let's say, for instance, let's estimate it to 100 million. The project is going to take 100 million naira. This is me just estimating. I'm not saying this is the actual figure. And then... You know, before, after you, after you have discussed, before long, the money hits your account. That's, what's it called? The contractor's account. And then, this particular contractor receives the money. It's okay, you know. As he was still saying, okay, they don't increase, they don't bring money. Maybe I even called uh, your people and said, okay, we are going to go and start resuming work. So, so please, and so, so please. Why you are still making arrangement? A call comes through your phone and said, oh, have you received the money? And you said, yes. Oh, okay. I'm going to send your account number. And you send 50 million naira out of that money to that particular account. And you're like, okay, slow down. The 100 million naira I even charge for this particular work is just even management. It's for us to use standard projects, even though, you know, we're going to make sure it's standardized. But anything, anything below it is not going to work. And you're like, which road? Road that they give money for every year. You know, when I heard this, like I said, it was it's his live event. And before you know, as the contractor was like, no, now, come on, this is it's not, it's not right. It's not going to be enough. They start to refer to now. Okay, do you want your wife? Do you want your children? Do you know what you're doing? No, God, no, God, no, God, no, God, only you, the only contractor. We didn't do this thing before. And they start sending threats. So imagine that kind of scenario. The government is giving money for a particular project. People wait there. People wait there for me to. They block them. Buhari is telling himself that he has done well. Imagine, and that person says they give that particular project like every, every two two years. Imagine, just imagine as the ladies interview our future. Now this is just one scenario. So Buhari might be speaking from he don't do work. That is what I'm saying. That was what me, my mind is thinking. There's a possibility he's saying, "Oh my, I don't try." But the thing be said, we know the sin from here. That is why we need the president also needs you know in picking people. Both governors, councillors, and all of that, local government chairman. We need to pick people who are who are going to be synergizing with the president. We want to make Nigeria better. Those ones who too, we want to make Nigeria better. Same with those who are going to be working closely with him as well. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come, you'll be next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.